In this video, let's learn how to handle delete requests in our Next.js application. Our scenario is pretty simple. Each of the comments should have a delete button, which as you might have guessed, will delete the comment from the array. Let's head back to VS Code and get started. We have two steps to implement. For the first step, we're going to add a button against each comment and on click of the button, send out a delete request with the comment ID. So in the JSX, we're going to add a button after the comment ID and text. Button, the text is delete and on click of the button, we're going to call a function called delete comment passing in comment.id. Now let's define this function. const delete comment and this is an async function which receives comment id as a parameter. Within the function body, we make a delete request using the fetch API. So const response is equal to await fetch. The URL is slash API slash comments followed by comment ID. So we send the comment ID as part of the request URL. Now by default, this is a get request. To make it into a delete request, we pass in an object as the second argument and we set method to delete. After we get back the response, we convert it to JSON and simply log it to the console. To ensure the UI also reflects the deletion, let's call the fetch comments function, which retrieves the updated list of comments. So this is our step one. Now for step two, let's handle the delete request in the API route. So in the comment ID API route, we first check for the request method. If request.method is equal to get, we return the individual comment. Else, if request.method is equal to delete, We need to remove the comment from the array and perhaps return that comment as a response. So first, let's get hold of the comment object using the find method. I'm going to copy paste this code from before. Well, let's name it deleted comment for clarity. Once we have the deleted comment, we send it as response. So res.status of 200.json deleted comment. Before responding though, let's also remove the comment using array.splice. First, let's get hold of the index. Comments.findIndex where the comment ID is equal to the comment ID in the URL. Once you get the index of that comment, pass it into the splice method asking it to delete one item. And that pretty much is our delete request handler. Let's save both the files and test this out. I've navigated to localhost 3000 slash comments. When I load all the comments, we see the three comments from our comments array. If I now delete the third comment, we get back an error because delete comment should be camel cased. Refresh, load comments, and then delete the third comment. You can see the delete API request is made and we get back the object that was deleted. The comments API is then called again to retrieve the updated list of comments. Delete again, and it works as expected. We have successfully handled the delete request. Now I am not going to cover patch request, but I want you to take it up as homework. 
in index.js, create a button to update the comment, which will update the text for the corresponding comment in the comments array in the data folder. All right, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.